Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. Today we are going to show you how to do the snow angel. So the snow angel is a really good exercise if your shoulders are rolled forward like this. Maybe you work at a desk all day, maybe you have kind of lower self-confidence or low self-esteem, so you're always hunched forward a little bit. Okay, maybe you drive around in a car a lot. I don't know why you'd be hunched forward, but lots of people tend to be. Or maybe you've had some sort of a shoulder injury in the past that makes it hard for you to lift your shoulder or lift your arm up above your shoulder or something. If that's the case, then the snow angel is a really good exercise for you to be able to work on your shoulder mobility in a really safe and also effective way, okay? So the first progression of this exercise, okay, and this is where a lot of people will actually start, is if you lay down on your back, okay, in this position here, you're going to start with your hand, okay, just below, you're just at the small of your back, you're going to keep your palm down, Okay, like this, and you're going to snow angel out. And then once you get to about shoulder height, I want you to rotate your palm up so that it faces the ceiling, and you're going to bring your hand around until your thumb comes very close, okay, to touching the crown on your head. All right, and then you're going to snow angel back down in the exact reverse motion, palm down, okay, at shoulder height, and then touch your fingers to the small of your back. Okay, and what that does is, from when you're in this position here, you might feel a really strong stretch, okay, through the front of your shoulder, and then as you snow angel out and turn your palm up, the stretch is going to come more to the front and lower into your, um, the pec area, okay, and you might even feel it in your lat a little bit as well, if your lats are extremely tight. Okay, now when a lot of people do this exercise, what they'll find is, is that they can do this bottom part, okay, which is really normal, but then when they rotate their palm over, they're really so tight through their shoulder that they have to keep their elbow and their hand up like this a little bit. And that's okay, just try to relax your arm down and just go as high as you can or touch, get as close, get your thumb as close to the crown of your head as possible, okay? It's not wrong to have your hand up, it just means you really need to do this exercise, okay? So now, if you are able to do maybe somewhere between 8 and 12 repetitions, your hand and your elbow are on the floor the whole time, then you're ready to step it up a notch, okay? So the next phase is to pull your leg over just a little bit, okay? So you have a little bit of a cross and then maintain the same um, arc of your arm and snow angel up again. So palm down and then palm up again, okay? Now, when a lot of people do this, then you could put your hand on the floor when you were totally flat or on your back, but now your arm might be up a little bit. So you need to stay here for a little while until you're able to do maybe eight or 12 repetitions with your hand and shoulder on the floor. And then as you become more comfortable, you just slowly let your thigh roll over just a little bit more, okay? and the more you let your thigh roll over, the more that's going to pull the shoulder up off the floor, the harder it's going to be for you to do this exercise, okay? So we just go from this position here, okay? Uh, palm down and snow angel up again, okay? Now, if this, for some people, this might bother your back, okay? Twisting in this lower back position, okay? And if that's the case, instead of rolling your shoulder or rolling your hips over like this, then what I recommend doing is laying lengthwise on a foam roller, okay? And by laying lengthwise on the foam roller, okay? Then you can do this exercise, okay, without rotating your, rocking your back around. The thing with doing it like this on the roller is that for a lot of people, that is going to be a massive stretch, okay? And it's going to be very hard, very, very hard for you to go through this whole range. So I have not bad shoulder mobility through here, okay? But for most people, this will be too intense, which is why I usually recommend doing it on the floor first. But if twisting your lower back bothers your lower back, then this might be a good alternative for you, okay? Now, if you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed watching it, please like our page or subscribe to our channel because we deliver content just like it every week. Take care and we'll talk to you next time.